Hold up. All right, what's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Hopefully all of you guys are having a pretty nice day right now, and this is another live commentary. So, I'm going to talk about a couple of things. First of all, I did train actually an interesting army I've never ever done in my two years of cl playing Clash of Clans. It's the five golem strategy. So, I'm going to, let's see, what kind of raids do we have? Um, all these epic loot raids have been on German server, like all of these loot raids are on german servers so uh that's pretty awesome but anyway let's go check out the five golem strategy so i know high level players use this strategy and i just you know i wanted to kind of try it out i do have a crap ton of dark elixir i mean i have like what, 120 plus thousand so it looks like i'm not the best at it because this is my first try and i i know i suck but i think this is a good solid two star strategy obviously I would like to have my heroes up much higher. It will work better with heroes up. But looks like in the CC, I think the couple of wizards destroyed one of my golems. But all the golems are soaking up a ton of hit points. And uh, so my so the other defenses don't destroy my wizards and my archers. I mean my wizards, my archer queen. And it did actually bring 10 archers to get the outside building. So it did help a lot. And I had balloons in my clan castle, but anyway, looks like I brought three jump spells, and that actually was helpful because the golem soaked up a lot of damage from the defenses, and this let pretty much uh, my archer queen and my king and a couple of wizards in into the court, so I can get the two star. So this strategy is not supposed to man for three stars, at least I don't think so. Um, maybe you can, but not for me at least, because that was my first time using it, and I actually had a blast using it. I love the strategy and hopefully uh, once I get my heroes up I can use it again. So we we are actually going to do a clan war pretty soon as, as of this recording. Probably in a couple of hours we'll see what's going on but yeah. So I do use King's ability just to get the extra elixir and there we go. So I mean it wasn't the best right because that was my first try. Obviously I'm not a pro at it but I did see Galadon and a few of his high level players do it and I think I wanted to try it out so I think in clan wars even if you don't take out the CC troops and bring a lightning instead of a rage spell I think it's still a solid two star so anyway we're gonna go check out another epic loot raid so let's go check out this one um, but yeah so looks like this player has over 600,000 loot available so that's pretty awesome um, and yeah, 5 golem strategy does work, but you need a, a lot higher level heroes. And my level 17 king and level 15 queen is not cutting it. So, but uh, if you do use the strategy, um, like what Galadon and his high level players do, and use it correctly with a couple of jump spells, I don't know if they actually carry 3 jump spells, I think they carry 2. I decided to carry 3 just to get uh, into the core for sure, so... Um, yeah, it works like it's a good strategy. Honestly, it's very effective because while every defense is shooting the golems, you can just, you know, send wizards and your heroes behind them in your clan castle troops. And yeah, you guys, you know, with that strategy, you can pretty much destroy a, a lot of bases, even with Inferno Towers. If they have multi set, just send in a couple golems, like four or five golems, and it's very, very effective. So, anyway, this loot raid, I was actually pretty happy I found. Um, pretty good loot and I've been grinding a ton of walls I don't know why but every time every time I have either a million gold or like a million elixir I always want to try to upgrade walls to level 9 so anyway that wasn't too bad of a loot I got around f over 500,000 loot so that was pretty average for me um, decent loot so I think my clan and yeah so I think my clan has one replay to show below let me check out yeah, I think it was Bulls. I so I don't think a lot of our cl clan players are on, even though it's in the noon. Not sure what's going on, but um, yeah. So let's check out this raid. And by the way, as of this recording, Proud Gamers are in a very very close war. So I don't know if I'm gonna have a c recap for them or a commentary, but yeah, they're in a very very close war. So 
Anyway, we're going to be doing War, like I said, pretty soon as of this recording, and I'll try to have a recap video in the next couple of days, we'll see. And this is actually going to be a 25 versus 25 war, so yeah, but anyway, let's see what Bullseye does. So it looks like he's carrying all archers, and I was actually debating whether to carry Barge or all archers, and I see all archers is pretty effective, and I think up in Masters, I don't know how, how all archers would be that effective, because the bases are you're going against are pretty strong at least from gold 3 and 2 and 1 so I just prefer barge because it just it's very cheap barbs can soak up damage while archers just destroy things so um, I think bullseye should have won this raid but let's see what happens here so he's got 35 percent and so he could have oh yeah he did use his ability he might I don't think he would have got one the one star but anyway that was good 400,000 loot I'll definitely take that any day that's pretty good loot actually so um, let's see I don't think my clan has any replays um, yeah so that's pretty much it nothing exciting happening um, I want to update uh, real quick my Valks are going to level 3 in 4 days and you guys are probably wondering Clasher why do you have so much Dark Elixir and honestly it's because I wanted to upgrade my King but we did have a at least we're having a war pretty soon so I did not want to upgrade it and not have a king during the war so right after the war ends I'm gonna upgrade him right away to uh, level 18 so once he gets to level 20 I'll start doing my queen and my queen costs a lot so yeah that's why I have a ton of dark elixir also once my Valks are level 3 I'm gonna try to upgrade him to max level and I believe as a town hall 9 you can get Valks max level for town hall 9 so yeah but anyway, looks like I've been grinding walls. Let's see how many walls I have. I think the last time I checked, I had like 40-something, like last week. So let me check real quick. Edit layout, remove all. And I do have 103 level 9 walls. So my goal was to have 100 level 9 walls before the war. So that's pretty good. I'm trying to get this outside court, all level 9 walls. And yeah, so anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully you guys do enjoy these live commentaries. I definitely do. But anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for all the lately for all the late support you guys have been giving me. We actually have 114,000 views in the last month. That is unbelievable. Like honestly, I just want to say thank you to everyone last every single one of you guys that um uh, Watch my videos, support my channel, and I just want to say thank you. I keep, I know I say thanks a lot, but I can't stop saying that because you guys do help my channel, and it does, I really do appreciate it. But anyway, if you could smash 40 likes, that would be awesome, and I'll see you.